السلام عليكم جماعة بركة مديمة غاشكما الله يا ساكي داو وادني دين انشيغة بدا مغانا ردنا فارا يمكو رلي تنين جماعة اريوا رانا اللي تنين دا توچي ناچي مكو كلورا دا آلكا ورن دا جمعيوي سكي يمكو دون كو قداسو كو دوبا كو غني كو نسوا نيني سكا فيغسكيا كو مواتن دا زا ايا ينسو بعد أن لبت مكو حراجي ميس بعد أن لبت حراجي ميس أنني أكم متانيبا دفركو دي ناسو كلورا كو غاني چيوا وانن زا بيفد زا اي قاننن زا بيني نزوا مجلس ردوكو كي اليغوز با زا بيني نزوا مجلس ردوكي لي نجحابا ناسو كلورا دا الكا ورن دا اكي مكو كو غني كو دكنسو سنداچي دا ابوبوان دا غمنتن تاريا كي ايكو دا سو يد نغيا مكو داي ابيزا كان ساري نتف يد ملكي يكي انا ايجيريا كو واني غمنتي نتاريا كو نجيها اقوي ايلين ايوكا مسمى وطن دا اكدام قامسا يوانشن الكاورا دا واسو سكي يمكو با اكان حنيا سكي با مثالي إن أن أم بچزن چن إلمي نا پرائمري دا با دا ما غني غمي دا غمنة تا ريا أنا نفين أيانكين غرين لغوس نا كاوي دو من إلم وطن نا أيوكا مسمان سنا حنن غمنة تا جهاني سبو دا حكا كو جماعة تن رانا اللي تنين نكي كو قري مبينا مكو أبو بوانن دون كو غاني كو فهمشي إلي نيد أكي نيما أرو ديكو كمار يد كو يوشي نكي فدي مو جم إير ام بي سي كلم منا كو قري مغيا مكو غسكيا دون حكا منا سو دوك وانديسا مدامر كالان تسالي ملكي نا نايجيريا واتو constitutional instruments منا سن يبياني مجمعا ام وانسا يد زاس فهم شيد يكي دم متانيس سن اكان ابندا اكي يم وان ننزابي مو NPC مونجبا دي دي بني مولو دي جماعة اكان ابنده يكي با غسكيا با كوكما ميوا جماعة الكاورا اكان ابوبوا اندموك تبتا با حكين غمنتين تاريا بني نا ديسو اندد تنا مكو وان ننزاب اي نا غمنتين تاريا ني با نا غمنتين جها با دومينكوا ناغا سوران جم ايوي سنا سو سحارجي سامانو فا جماعة ابيسا يدس آلم ملكي نايجيريا ايكي غا ايلم مهمان ايوكا وطن دسوكي سنا حنن غمنتين تاريا واتو ابو بواني وطن دا غمنتين تاريا كيد ايكو دسو ودنن ابو بوا سوني ايوكا دوكا نغا ميدا جلا جن سما ايوكا دوكا نغا ميدا بانكي واتو ما اجير كودي نيما لن چان كوردي دون ايكين غمنتي داغ واسو قصا شي اواجي ين كوردي كوتا كردو كوز آبا سا عرح سا حراجي مكاية يكي دا سوكا شقا كو سوكا فتا دا نايجيريا 
kor hakkin korar wadanda ba yan kasa ba ko tilas ta mutane su fita daga wata jiha zuwa wata ma'amala da kasashe na waje tsaron gida wato soja da ikon yan sanda duka game da zancen ilimi kuwa gwamnatin tarayya in ba cikin garin iko ba ikon ta kawai shine akan ilimi mai zurfi wato wadannan manya manyan wurare na ba da ilimi gwamnatin tarayya ke rike da su jami'a ta ibadan da makarantin fasaha na zariya da enugu da na ibadan da makarantar koyar da ba da magani ta yaba da makarantar lafiyar dabbobi ta bom da makarantar aikin koyon aikin daji a ibadan kuma shiga da fita na mutane duka ikon gwamnatin tarayya ne haka kuma aikin gidan waya da na jiragen kasa da jiragen ruwa da dukkan wuraren tsayawar su kuma har har wa yau sha'anin ma'adinai da na lantarki da manyan hanyoyi duka ikon gwamnatin tarayya ne jama'a wadannan sune wasu daga cikin muhimman abubuwa wadanda suke na gwamnatin tarayya na lifsarta muku su don ku gane cewa yawancin abubuwa da wasu jam'iyoyi suke cewa za su yi muku ba su shafi wadannan abubuwa ba mu jam'iyar npc duk irin shirin ayyuka da muka ce za mu yi mun yi shi ne a bisa yadda tsarin mulki na Najeriya yake domin mu NPC mun gaba daidai bane mu ce za mu yi muku abu alhali kuwa mun sani gwamnatin tarayya ba ta da iko akan abin na fata dai da bayanin da na bayar na game da tsarin mulki jama'a ku da kanku za ku fahimci abubuwan nan mu jam'iyar mu ta npc kullum muna shirya abubuwan mu akan abin da yake tabbatacce ne yanzu ina so in bayyana muku irin abubuwan da muka shirya za mu yi muku in Allah ya yarda zan fara daga kan ba da ilimi ko da shike ikon gwamnatin tarayya game da ba da ilimi ya tsaya akan ilimi ne mai zurfi kamar yadda nace da kuma ba da kowane irin ilimi na cikin garin iko duk da haka mu npc mun dauka maganar ilimi magana ce ta kasa duka baki daya saboda haka za mu yi iyakar kokarin mu mu hada kai da gwamnatin jihohi yadda za a dauki karantarwa a makarantu ya zama ya zama Abu Bai daya a Najeriya duka wato bukatar mu ita ce mu NPC muna so duk ilimin da za a bayar ya zama na ya amfani kasa ne baki daya manufar mu ita ce a sami mutanen kowace jiha cikin kowane wurin aiki na gwamnatin tarayya za mu himmantu da ba da taimakon kurdi yadda za a yi gine ginen makarantu idan Allah ya yarda za mu kafa makarantun secondary da na sana'o'i cikin jihohi duka game da yardan gwamnatin jiha wadanda su makarantin nan a cikin su za a sami almajirai daga jihohi duka wato mu npc mun tabbata haduwar yan makaranta wuri guda yana jawo hada kai kuma zai kara kawo zumunta da soyayya 
ተካኒን ከቢሉን ቀሰነን ናይጄሪያ ዛሙ ባየር ደ ስኮላርሺፕ መየዋ አከን ኮወን ኢሊም ፈኒ ነ ኢሊሚ ባገመደ ወኒ በምባንቺባ ቶ አተቀሽ ደይ ጀማአ ጋ ኢሊም መንፈርሙ ነገመደ ሸአንም ባደ ኢሊሚ አቀሰነን ደ ፋልኮ ደይ ሙ ኤንፒሲ ዱከ ጂሆሂ ሱጋኒ የደዛ አማየር ድሽአንም ባደ ኢልሚ የዘማ አይኪ ኔነ ቀሳ ባኪ ዳ ኩመዛ ሙፋድ ተሐኞ ይምባደ ኢልሚ የደዛ አሳሚ ሙታነን ኮ ወች ጂሃ አኮ ወነ ማአይካታ ነጋምነቲን ታረያ ዛሙ ባደ አልማጅሬስ ስኮላርሺፕ ማሲያዋ ደን አልማጅሬ ደገ ኮ ኢና አናጄሪያ ዛም ገርማ አይኪ ማላንታ ደኩም ማኛም ማከራንቱን ወልን ኮዮን አይኪን ኮያርዋ ኩማኒ ያርሙቼ ሙጀም ኢየር ኤንፒሲ ሙፋደ ደገማ ማኛም ማከራንቱ ደ አኬደ ሱ ያንዙ ዋቶ ጃሚአ ተ ኢባዳን ደ ማከራንቱን ፈሳሃ ኩሙና ደ ኒየር ሙከፈሰብ ኢሊንሱ يد على ما جري ده وازاس سامزل في انسام الالمي ما يزر في في يدنا ينزو اغمد شان ما غني ده كي واللافيا جماعه الناس ان غايا مكو مو جمئير ان بي سي من سن يد تشوتشوتشي كمار سو اغانا كترتا مكانتا ده تشي ونفكا سكن نقصد ده متاني abinda muka shirya game da ciwutuka irin wadannan shine za mu yi kokarin yadda za a samo hanyoyin kashe su duka dungum za mu yi iyakar kokarin mu a bisa yadda za a sami likitoci kwararru musamman wadanda aikin su kawai zai zama na binciko hanyoyi ne nakashe irin wadannan ciwutuka kuma mu npc nufin mu shine kowane mai aiki kowace mace mai ciki da kowace mace mai goyo da duk yara wadanda ba su wuce shekara 18 ba su sami magani kyauta ba biya muna kuma da niyyar mu ƙara girman asibitin cikin garin Ikko mu kuma dada kyauta tashi jama'a zancen a ba kowa magani kyauta kamar yadda yake yi a Ingila idan mun ce za mu yi haka a nan Nigeria idan mun dauki misalin ko akan kowane mutum za a kashe su lai goma wato yana nufin akan kowane mutum za a kashe fan goma wato wannan yana nufin game da sha'anin asibitoci kawai a kasar nan tilas ne mu samo kudi fan miliyan 40 minya jama'a idan Allah ya yarda za mu yi muku wadannan abubuwa duka domin a bisa sanin yadda arzikin gwamnatin tarayya yake a yanzu mun tabbata duka wadannan abubuwa masu samuwa ne ba da lalle sai an sa muku haraji mai tsanani ba mu jam'iyyar npc kullum gaskiya za mu ga ya muku domin ku sami damar sanin akan abinda za ku yi kuri'a jama'a ina dai so in ƙara tuna muku mutuncin ku da zaman ku lafiya da tabbatar rayuwar al'adun ku duka sun danganta akan wannan zabe da za a yi na so in tabbata muku babu jam'iyyar da za ta tsare muku wadannan abubuwa idan ba npc ba saboda tsare mutuncinku 
da kuma saboda gida manku ku zabi jam'iyyar NPC ku jama'ar arewa kada ku zabi jam'iyoyi wadanda za su kai ku inda za ku wahala jama'ar arewa yan uwana na dade a cikin wannan al'amari na san abin da ake yi duka don Allah ku kiyaye abubuwan da jam'iyoyi suke fadi ku yi aiki da hankalin ku ku sa takardar ƙuri'ar ku cikin akwati na NPC mai alamar fartanya Allah ya ba mu alheri mu kwana lafiya good evening i'm glad to be in the studio again tonight to make another election broadcast to you on behalf of my party the NPC on monday night when i spoke to you the electorate i asked you to examine the election manifestos of all the political parties and to see for yourselves which of them are sincere and practicable many of you are of course aware of the provisions of the nigerian constitution orders in council which set out the authority and the powers of the federal government and of the regional governments now our nigerian constitution provides for a clear division of functions between the federal and the regional governments those of you who have studied the constitutional instruments will see that very many of the things which the political parties are promising in their election speeches and manifestos are outside the responsibility of the federal government there are services or matters which can only be provided by the regional governments we of the northern people's congress hope that all nigerians who understand the constitutional position in our country will take it upon themselves as a duty to explain these matters clearly to the rest of the people so that the nigerian public will not be to not be deceived by those parties who have no regard for truth we in the northern people's congress feel that it is wrong to deceive the people by promising them that we shall do things which we know very well are outside the competence of the federal government let us be quite clear this is a federal election and not a regional election for the benefit of those of my fellow nigerians we have not the advantage of knowing the provisions of the constitution i shall try now to explain briefly the matters which come directly under the legislative control of the federal government and of the house of representatives now here are some of the things over which the federal government exercises exclusive control they are as follows aviation banks and bank banking raising of external loans for the federal government or for the regions companies other than those incorporated directly by a law enacted by the regional legislature then there's currency coinage and legal tender and the customs and the excise and deportation from nigeria or the compulsory removal of persons from one region to another and external affairs that is the relations of nigeria with foreign countries the federal government is also responsible for certain institutions of higher education of which the most important are the university college the university college teaching hospital the nigerian college of arts science and technology the west african institute of social and economic research the pharmacy school yaba the forest school ibadan and the veterinary school at vom immigration into nigeria and immigration also come under the exclusive control of the federal government 
Then there is the maritime shipping and navigation, including shipping and navigation of tidal waters and of the river Niger and its tributaries. Then mines and minerals and nuclear energy. Nationality is another federal subject, and this includes the citizenship of Nigeria and the naturalization of aliens and the issue of passports and visas. Then there are the posts and telegraphs and telephones and railways and federal trunk roads. And finally there is wireless broadcasting and television other than broadcasting and television provided by the government of a region. And there is the, and there is the responsibility for allocating wavelengths. Now I have given you that long list of subjects for which the federal government is responsible in order that you may see for yourselves how many of the things which the other political parties are promising to do for you if you vote them into power are right outside the control of the federal government. There are a few other subjects for which both the federal government and the regional governments are responsible and about which they can both make laws and these subjects are on what is known as the concurrent list. The list includes conditions of labor, industrial relations and industrial development, but is mainly confined to technical matters of which statistics is an example. In framing our policy, we of the Northern People's Congress have not gone outside the provisions of the Constitution. And since this is only a federal election, we have considered it right that we should only address you, the electorate, on matters which we know the federal government has the power to control under the Constitution. We are confident that we have not allowed yourselves to be deceived by the unrealistic promises being made to you by the other political parties. I have explained to you the provisions of our Constitution, and I now want to tell you some of the things which my party, the NPC, will do for you if you vote us into power. Remember that the NPC always measures its programs and policies to be sure that they are constitutionally and physically possible of being carried out. Truth is our watchword, and we shall not deceive you. I start with the education. It is the responsibility of both the federal and the regional governments, and we in the Northern People's Congress consider that it is of national importance and should be treated as such. Bearing this in mind, our education policy will be first to recognize education as a matter of national importance. Secondly, to expand all grades of educational institutions. Thirdly, to provide increased facilities for science teaching to all school certificate holders throughout Nigeria. Fourthly, we shall offer additional scholarship not only to the universities, and other institutions of higher learning, but we also plan to award federal scholarships to secondary schools. Fifthly, we intend to establish an inter-regional secondary schools and inter-regional technical institutes, both to be financed entirely from, re from federal funds. It is our hope that all the regions will cooperate with us in this project because we feel that the, that the mixing up in schools of students from all regions and from all tribal groups will definitely make a very valuable contribution towards our most important aim, which is the, which is the idea of unity in Nigeria. And it will assist in providing a balanced educational output throughout the Federation. This in its turn will make it possible for the Federal Public Service to be a fully representative of all sections of the community. We shall establish a teacher training center especially for the training of secondary school teachers. And it is also our intention 
that with the cooperation of the regions and of the voluntary agencies, we shall see that there is an interchange of staff between the various schools in Nigeria. We also intend to establish more institutes of higher learning, and it is our view that Nigeria can even now accommodate more university colleges. In the field of medical and health matters, the aim of the Northern People's Congress is to eradicate completely all epidemic and endemic diseases. We shall concentrate medical research especially on the elimination of leprosy and smallpox and all such other diseases which you know only too well are so dangerous to the health and the well-being of the nation. Besides research into methods of curing diseases, we shall also conduct our medical research into preventive measures and we intend to give free medical treatment to all pregnant and nursing mothers and to all children up to school leaving age. We shall also expand and modernize the Lagos General Hospital. Now these are some of the things that we plan to provide for you. And with a full knowledge of the financial position of the federal government, we are convinced that they are all possible and that we shall be able to provide you with these services without having to impose additional taxation on you. We of the Northern People's Congress will always tell you the truth because we believe that you are entitled to know the full implications of what your personal vote may mean. I hope to have the opportunity of addressing you once more on the rest of our policies next Tuesday, that is, on the 8th of December. Thank you for listening to me. Good night.